in Mortal is Asclepius Asperilla. There's another Asclepius, Asclepius tuberosa, that's found back east, that's called pleurisy root. Either one of them are cornerstones, crucial plants to treat fluid buildup in the lungs from a pandemic or from a viral or bacterial infection. They are crucial to have Asclepius aspirilla or Asclepius tuberosa. What about other Asclepius? I don't know. These two have a history. Asclepius tuberosa is called pleurisy root. The filling up of the lungs is pleurisy. Uh, and these are the two that have been traditionally used throughout pandemics and pneumonias. We use the root. And the reason why we use the root is because this plant contains cardiac glycosides. And cardi cardiac glycosides is a very useful group of compounds when your heart is worn out, tired, and can't keep up with pumping. Mm. Asclepius aspirilla, the immortal, is famous in the Mexican herbal tradition for extending the life of old Mexican guys who are worn out from chopping wood into their 80s and super, you know, super just like they, their heart wears out before their body wears out. But often they'll, they'll want to wait, live another 10 years, right? So they'll drink every morning a little bit of, a, of immortal root to make it so their heart pumps their lungs respirate and their kidneys filter. It is the remedy in Mortal, Asclepius aspirilla, is the remedy that I've used with people with congestive heart failure. They are critical to monarch habitat. And in fact, if you ever get, if you get a map of butterf a book of butterflies and look at the monarch routes, wherever the monarchs go is where Asclepius aspirilla grows. It is critical to their migration. They move down throughout America from patch of pleurisy root and immortal one after another all the way on their migratory route. It's like clockwork. And I know that because I ran into a group of researchers in the White Mountains at my, at my I mean, my isolated immortal stand. Got to walk in, beautiful hillside, couple hundred plants. And what I do when I harvest immortal is I never take more than half the root because it'll grow back. So the word immortal, immortal, not only applies to live, you live longer because you make your heart work strong and good again, but the plant itself lives forever if you only take half of the root. It'll grow back, it'll put out, it's interesting to accidentally dig up the previous year's harvest and realize, wow, look how much grew back in one year. You ever see that? You ever do that accidentally? dig up and they, they got that spindly white stalk that comes up from that part that you broke off six inches underground. So like 80% of the time they'll grow back. And, and I always try to note that so I never dig them again. I leave them alone for the rest of their life. But it grows really easy from seed. Uh, the milkweeds do, right? And you'll be creating butterfly habitat. But more importantly, I mean, that's important. It's as important as medicine. Um, but for us as herbalists, you're going to have, there are, there are not many plants that work on the heart unless they contain cardiac glycosides like Immortal and Pleurisy Root. This is, this is critical. If, if people are drowning in their own fluids, if they're dying from a viral pneumonia, and they're also dying from cardiac overwork, the Immortal could be the most critical of all the plants. For the full video and for more plant teachings, visit Wild Medicine School at the link below.